a place like this doesn't exist just anywhere. Um, I travel a lot and I haven't encountered anything quite like it. It's the best place in the entire Midwest, I guess, or, or maybe one of the best in the country. A lot of universities have a cinema program with diverse programming. You know, what you guys have is quite unique. There's this hub here of the IU Cinema and the fact that you have such great programming and you have such great visitors. The um, programming really rivals those of um, the best cinematics in the world. I'm already uh, plotting my return here for several of the upcoming programs. To read through the programs, I had to mop up the drool on my on my lap. Some other places can build a theater as beautiful as this and as effective uh, as this, but it depends on the program. That's the essence. Going to a theater on your campus and being able to see an eclectic amount of stuff that's like brought to you, and even to the extent that they can bring people in to talk about the work, that's really unique and that not everyone gets that opportunity. Bringing filmmakers into the university setting and having them spend time with the community and with students. I think that's, 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 a, that's a real gift. It should be something that's everywhere. You think of music programs and all kinds of arts, arts programs that we should have more of. But certainly campuses that have a space like this are the lucky ones. Well, first of all, I was very impressed by the venues. It is incredibly beautiful and is not indifferent where films are screened. I mean, you have um, a state-of-the-art projection. You know, you have uh, visionary uh, leadership at the top. Not only the pristine quality of the picture and the sound of this particular place, but just access to a university cinema in general. Um, the world is waiting for you. I think there's a there's a value in the experience that. Uh, is is uh, hard to articulate uh, that that is lost uh, if you view a film on your laptop or on your television and so forth. It should have, in my opinion, a nucleus where people can come and it's celebrated and uh, um, it's given the sort of the platform that that it deserves as a as an as an actual art, not just as a uh, you know a, a peripheral fancy or or uh, disposable entertainment. Like. In gastronomy, it is not indifferent for culinary art what kind of china, what kind of plates you use. So here it is served in a very, very elegant ambiance. I was very impressed. It, it, there's a reverence towards cinema that doesn't exist in the real world like it does in these type environments, and that's important. The, the mood of the campus is defined by, by this place here. This kind of experience, this kind of knowledge, this kind of appreciation of cinema is contagious. Is it just because I'm meeting certain people that I think that film is such a vital part of this campus, or is it actually because it just feels like it's such a, an, a, a big part? It's important that we have institutions where we don't forget the past, you know, and that we're always reminded of what and where it came from in order to understand where it may end up going. You think of, um, of the campuses that do have spaces like this and the opportunity that's sitting right in the chairs, you know, uh, to actually transform the way we think about ourselves and about other people and how we take that into our lives when we leave the space like this. Really vital. The people here are challenged intellectually and emotionally to create art that is like breaking open boundaries, and that there's a lot of institutional support for making work. So um, the PhD students I've met here have been like, just seem really excited, and they're passionate, and they're teaching, and they're making, and that's such a gift. <laughs>